Oh, okay. Um, hi. Welcome to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks 172. I had a look at that thing. <laughs> Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks 172. Yes. We're the 172nd Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. We're the yes. 172nd Regiment. You know I what I heard on, on another podcast today? Is that iTunes only lets you have 100 episodes on your feed at a time. So does that mean we only have the latest 100 episodes? It's not true. You just have to change. You have to change a setting and let iTunes know. Oh. Yeah. Well, there you go. So there you go. How are you doing? I'm good. What's your name again? (laughs) Annalise. And my name's Neil. Hi. Hi. Explain our podcast. We're a married couple who lives in Napa Valley, California that likes to talk every week about our lives and just hang out and have fun. And we're (laughs) glad you joined us. And we want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed rated and reviewed our show. However, if you don't feel like doing that, we're totally cool with it because we're just happy that you spend any time at all with us. Thanks for swinging by. <laughs> yeah. We don't we don't have any illusions that all of a sudden we're going to be millionaires from our podcast. So no, no need to go out of your way. But if those those, those who do and we those who have, it it's lot. really freaking cool. And we like it when you tweet at us and we like it when you send us the weather. And if you want... What? Free stuff, free shit from us. Um, and we're fight. We're two minutes in, and I started cursing. That's how this is going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you want some free Dark Angels and pretty free stuff like stickers or koozies, let us know, and we'll mail them to you. Mm-hmm. And thank you for all That's the thank yous. Too. That's right. Thank you for all the thank yous thank of you this stuff we <laughs> sent. You know what I have? No vacation hangover. What hangover or vacation <laughs> blues? Which one? Is it this different? I don't know. The same? I've never vacation. Hangover. I haven't felt great. Like isn't vacation I, hangover like you had too much vacation and you're like I'm like like oh, I was maybe. drinking hangover like maybe you had too much to maybe drink. It's the vacation blues then it's post vacation partum partum postpartum vacation depression postpartum. De- <laughs> See, women, that's exactly what I have. Women who have kids. They're like, oh, it's so tough. And now I have the blues afterwards. And it's like, it's no, nothing like vacation. That. Do not start that. Because <laughs> vacation is a serious blues. All this having I kids crap. I felt really ill. Like You be illin'? Do you remember that song? <laughs> I do. I do remember that song. Something um, about eating dog food in that song. Is there? Yeah, I don't remember like, that. You so ugly, you eat dog food or something Whoa. like that? Whoa. I got to check out Whoa. the lyrics. I got to find the lyrics. <laughs> Maybe that could be your lyrics right, of the week. Oh, go my God. On. But, um... I didn't feel so great, obviously, because we were up for like so many hours um, the next day, and then the it was day so after, tough coming back from Jamaica. You know what I mean? It's just it's a lot of travel up for thirty hours or whatever. So the next day, I felt you know a little yucky, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's fine. And then the day after that, I felt terrible. <laughs> and then at work on Monday, I also felt pretty terrible. And it's been getting better, but like every day I'm a little bit better, but like I did not feel well and I had a really horrible headache for like four days. And and we were joking, or maybe you weren't joking, I don't know, that it was like sugar, alcohol, food withdrawal or something. No, no, I was being but serious. That's what you? I'm going through. Mm. My body's I was just, just like, oh, I feel terrible. <laughs> it's like I, I poisoned my body because... Yeah. And now it's just not how I feel right. absolutely terrible too. Right. And we talked about how I just was not hungry for like two days. <laughs> it's what, today when I said I'm kind of craving beer, I, th- mm-hmm. I think it's not because I want alcohol. Mm-hmm. It's because my body just wants something crappy to put. And I, uh, I know <laughs> beer is awesome. I'm not saying right. it's not, but it's Lagunitas not. Lagunitas is a pretty nice beer. <laughs> alcohol, alcohol is a poison to your body. And my body's craving poison <laughs> because of that. Okay. So, mm. um, let me see if I can find this. Anyway, but go. Did you have something else? No, I was just gonna say that. But I'm feeling better now, and um, I was feeling, you know, pretty good today. I felt really good. Like my workouts are getting better. But like on Monday, I literally just walked on the treadmill for like 40 minutes. I'm like, that's that's good enough. That's nice, <laughs> good enough. But I lifted weights on like Tuesday and Thursday, and it was good. So I'm getting back there. It's just kind of funny. Do you want to read this now or you want to wait uh, later? Uh, no, I'll read. Oh, so it's by Run DMC. Mm. Funny enough, I'm surprised I didn't remember that. Yeah, me too. But there's a, a, a I don't know. Anyway, it says, I will. <laughs> For dinner, you ate it. There's nothing left. It was salty with butter and it was deaf. You proceeded to eat it because you was in the mood. But Holmes, you did not read it. It was a can of dog food. You be ill in. That's hilarious. Yeah. I don't remember those lyrics at all. Yeah. Those are, the, it's funny. Those I remember are the, the only song, one, but I yeah. don't remember those lyrics. <laughs> those are the uh, only ones I actually remember. That's hilarious. Maybe it just struck a chord. Dogs. Yeah. 
food. Their lyrics are awesome. Illin. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Are you Did feeling I any better? Everything? No. I feel like garbage. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I gained a lot of weight on vacation. <laughs> And I ate well. everything that I don't eat, and then I mm-hmm. came home and immediately stopped. Right. And so my body's not happy at all. I'm sure your body's like, I'm exhausted what the hell all is the time. Going on? I'm just absolutely exhausted. Yeah. I'm like, maybe I'm sick. Maybe I should go to the doctor. And I'm thinking, no, it just withdraws. So right. today, um, to even myself out, mm-hmm. um, I asked if you'd buy me a little bit of beer. <laughs> so you can have a couple beers so to even it out. Beers. But the <laughs> funny thing is, is that like... I have to be careful because alcohol make, doesn't make me feel good anymore, mm-hmm. which is a shame. Right. I'm going to start doing crack or something. Stop it. No. Because I need something. No, no. I can't imagine that's going to make you feel I, any I better. I want the edible pot brownies to work for me. Mm. Have you tried that? No. Me neither. So oh, there you how go. do we know? I don't know. I'm. Uh, we should try ahead. that on a, like a three-day weekend. So when we're paranoid and scared. No, no, no. We got to try it one at a time. Right. No. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I meant that. I yeah. meant that. Uh, I am very excited mm-hmm. for tomorrow because mm-hmm. we're doing our DNA tests. <laughs> Have I even talked about that on the podcast? I think that you did. I think that you talked about it. Um, you mentioned it at least once, maybe twice on once, either last week's or the week before. Episode. Twice. Yeah. Three, Three times. times. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, we got back from vacation. We talked about it on vacation. I've been mm-hmm. wanting to do this for what? For a while, almost since we met now. Yeah. Ever since like, since I met you and Ninja, I'm like, people should just walk around with DNA tests so I know what they are. <laughs> Ambiguously ethnic. Yes. <laughs> Am- ambiguously ad- androgynous. Also that. You never so know. then got home. We mm-hmm. talked about it on vacation. I said, well, when we get home, I'm going to get it. I'm like, this is going to be the birthday gift to myself. Mm-hmm. I realized I've purchased a lot of birthday gifts for myself this you year. You have a couple of birthday gifts. Uh, and I got you a birthday gift. You did, which I was going to discuss. Oh, awesome. But I'll, I'll start with that because I'll get back to DNA. But you got me Dirt Rally, <laughs> Dirt, the video game. Dirt is a franchise. Right. You got me Dirt Rally. And I'm so bummed because I'm so busy these days. I haven't even unwrapped it yet to yes, play. Yes, but I'm. Ho- I just. I know that you're going into the super busy time, and I know that you love video games. And you. Lo- <gasps> Whoa. Are you <laughs> all right? Yeah, that Jesus scared me. Because <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, and so it just scared. Yeah. It took me out of it. You can't um, have that one, girl. <laughs> that's Zero's bone. <laughs> he done told you. Yeah. <laughs> um. So. I know you're going into super busy time, so I was really hoping that you would get a chance to play it one of these weekends before you go into super busy time. I'm not sure that's going to happen for you, but I was hoping that you would. Well, my, my plan... And I know how much you love those racing games. My so. plan is for Monday afternoon mm-hmm. and 4th of July to play it. Okay. So that's my plan. Nice. Okay. But yeah, Busted so out. I'm very excited. Very, good, good it, it was very out, much a surprise. Because, your rally car. <laughs> yeah, it was very much a surprise because we don't really talk about video games a lot. Mm-hmm. And um, but I like though, video games, and I know that you like video games. So are you right? Are you doing some weird? Oh, I are, think I have dirt on me from moving all the um, <laughs> umbrellas. You just check out the YouTube video. It's yeah, gross. <laughs> no, stop it. From the um, do that later. <laughs> moving the umbrellas and the tables at my mom's house oh, for okay. her party. Right. Uh, but anyway, so very excited about the DNA test. Mm-hmm. And I, we were on vacation. We were talking about it again. And I said, this is, I'm, we're going to order it. So got back and actually the next day mm-hmm. ordered them. They showed up. You can't, uh, it's the cheek swab and you cannot eat or drink an hour before. So we're going to do it in the morning when our DNA has been DNAing in our mouth all night. Stewing in the DNA? Yes. So Gross. I'm very excited to find out what I am. <laughs> I think you already know where you are. but Yeah, but I want to find out. It's going to be like the Zero's DNA test where we didn't know he had great Pyrenees in him. And now we're like, huh, I can kind of see some of that because of his his weird hairstyle. And I'm really (laughs) excited about yours because then maybe we can get money from the government. That's my my goal. Mm. I'm going to laugh if yours comes back like you're African and Mexican. I'll be like, what? Right. Seriously? No Native American in you whatsoever? I also kind of wonder how they lump in together the... This is gonna sound terrible. The Latin. Um, oh wait, no! So what they do is they don't they don't give you a name. They don't say right. you're this. They show you on a map, right? So you can oh. decide what that means. Because, like, from my understanding, some of my ancestors are from Spain, but then 
you know, like I think how you've is been lied to? How is that in Mexico or is that part of Mexico or how Spain does that, is not anywhere near? I Mexico. know that, but I'm just saying, like Latin speaking, like I wonder how that's gonna wash out. Latin speaking, yeah. who the hell speaks Latin? No one. Latino right. speaking. Oh, you mean Spanish? Yeah. <laughs> Latin so. speak. I'm like. Now, now you're going back to the freaking the cradle land. of the universe. <laughs> there you go. Um, but we'll find out. We will. So, but I sometimes I'm not 100 percent sure that your mom is always honest with you <laughs> about stuff. <laughs> just saying. I think that she just like, yeah, Dad told me this once. There you go. And yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so I won't be surprised if it comes back and it's like, oh yeah. You're half Mexican, but for some reason your mom decided to call that Native American. It's pretty much the same thing. Right. It's pretty close. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Indians or Native Native peoples mm-hmm. are Native peoples. Right. Especially when you're in this hemisphere. Right. But it's yeah, I think it'd be, it'll be hilarious. <laughs> there's there's mm-hmm. a couple of things I'm hoping to find mm-hmm. in mine I want to see on the map. And if it's there, I'm going to be really stoked. But I'm not going to say what it is. I think I know what it is. Because if it's not there, mm-hmm. then it, it'll be a bummer. Right. But if it is there, it'd be cool. But I will say if it is or not there. If it is there, <laughs> I will claim it. If it's not there, I'll say, no, it wasn't there. Um, I'm just a jackhole. I do know that we both tan very well, so I can only assume we're of certain descent. It's amazing how dark we get considering we try not to tan. I, I put on so much sunscreen, and I'm like three or four shades darker than when I went to Jamaica. I like it. I think it's a good color on me. Thank you very much. Yes, you're a good but. dark person. <laughs> I like your color of dark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um and yeah, you know me, I, I mean, like we were doing like between dark, like so. between 50, 55 most of the time, but I would there was put 70 on my face and still. still oh, and so we much stayed darker. in the shade most of the time. Yeah, and wore a hat. I like we go and to, we're 70. We go to a, somewhere that's really pretty to lay out in the sun and we're like, "No, we're good." Well, that one day it was so hot. We're like, "Oh my god, I need to move to the shade." <laughs> What, um, That's too funny. how's your face? I was going to talk about that. Um, to go along with my, uh, back from vacation blues, I smashed my face. I think that it takes a real certain kind of special to like smash your own face against your own car by yourself. I need to say <laughs> that I was not too surprised because you get distracted fairly easily. Right. Yeah. Which is why I'm always n- nervous mm-hmm. about you driving, especially when there's like, oh, look, you have this onboard infotainment system and now you have your phone there and right. now you have your uh, iPod there and now you have this there. Hi, girl. Right. And I have that there. But I wasn't I wasn't too surprised. Like when I first well, saw it, well, you know what I thought happened when I first saw it? I thought a speaker fell on you <laughs> at work. Right. But it made way more sense that you smashed your own face yes. into your car getting into it. And I could just imagine that you had a handful really of stuff. I don't get hurt at work very often because I, you know, try to pay attention. But, I mean, I guess you could say that I it was a distraction. But basically I was, I opened up, I was going to leave work. I had a backpack on one arm and like a drink. I think it was my little Rubbermaid um, vitamin water juice. Uh-huh. And it had condensation on the plastic outer um, container, you know. Your Rubbermaid juice with condensation. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so I opened up the car door. What else were you carrying? That was it. Car- curring. Just those two like things. I, was, I turned into and so, uh, Kerr. Yeah. Up and in her. Yeah. <laughs> Nelly. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so I opened up the car door and I put my backpack um, on the passenger you seat. You opened up the curder. The curder. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> so I opened up the curder and I put my backpack in and. Um, and I was leaning down, and for some reason, whatever reason, because the condensation, I guess, um, my uh, vitamin water juice bottle thing started to slip out of my hand, and just automatic reaction, I went to grab it to make sure it didn't fall down, which is hilarious because it's plastic; it would have been totally fine, and it you know wasn't that far up in the air. But just an automatic reaction, I went to save it. I need to save it, and I went forward into the car. Uh, door frame and totally cracked my eye open and now i have a gash and a black eye so so it, so <laughs> just to say it's not a it's not a gash that needed stitches right but it's it's it probably could have used some it's between your eyelid and your eyebrow yeah 
towards the side of your face, like where your sunglasses would go. I took a couple of pictures. I'll post them after the episode. But uh, I had a really nice purple-colored smoky eye for a couple days. (laughs) And it was funny because I thought, oh, Jesus, people are going to think... It is I've, it is totally black eye ish, but your <laughs> eye isn't actually swollen, right? It's just the outer edge yeah. and, and my eyebrow. And you didn't get the black eye like when you get punched in the eye, and right. you get the real black eye. I don't know, which is good. It's right. a saving grace, right? But I thought <laughs> one thing that sucks is like when you joke about abuse and then nobody laughs. Right. Like I made the joke with Tony and Jeannie, like is he were like, oh, da, da, da. and I'm like, yeah, well, that's the story we're telling people. Crickets, and I was like. <laughs> Just that's joke. Not, a, was it? I was just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's funny. But um, no, I thought it was funny. And what's, um, I was uh, in the kitchen getting coffee, I think it was yesterday morning. And um, I think I told you about like um, a couple of the guys that work there, like Dave. And there's another guy who works there. His name is Ishmael. And he's an avid. Is his last name Ishmael? Is his first name Rocket? No, Rahim? his first name is Ishmael, and I, he's not Brazilian. He's from how many are in a Brazilian? Spain. <laughs> is he from Spain? Shit. I don't. Anyway, but he is like the super Brazil. Gung-ho, Brazil and Spain are very close. Um, avid um, cyclist, like road cyclist, mm-hmm. like he'll do a hundred miles oh. in a weekend. Like he just goes out, and he has like he has a bike that's like eight thousand dollars. Hey, been there, done yeah. that. So. Um, well, mine wasn't anyway, quite that much. he, he um, I was getting coffee, and he's the one who comes in in the morning, and makes coffee, and um, he's um, one of the chefs actually. And um, he looked at my eye, and he's like, "Oh, are you okay?" And I was like, "Oh yeah." And I told him, and and he started laughing. He's like, "You know, my wife um, works in an office, and then he said, there's um, there's this woman that she works with, and she's very." And he stopped for a second, and I think he was trying to think of the word, and he touched his nose, and he goes nosy there's a woman in her office that's very nosy and she kept asking her if she was okay and she said what actually happened was she tripped and actually hit the door frame of her own office that's great (laughs) but it gave her not only it hit her like in the um but it took out like her whole face and he said that her whole like side of her face was bruised and everybody was so concerned like she said he was saying that um so many people asked her if she was okay and if she needed anything to let them know. And he was just yeah. like, no. And she said, I did it here. Like I did it five minutes ago here at the office. Like remember this morning I didn't have a black eye and now I have a black eye. It's it implicit happened here. biased. I'm telling yeah. you it's implicit bias. <laughs> it was just, anyway, he was just telling me that story. I'm like, oh, that's a horrible. He's like, yeah. Like, and he kept saying like, is your husband okay? Does he? <laughs> and he said that she asked if your husband, did your husband drink? And she, he was like, I did, you know, like, so now there's this whole like thing because she had this like a horrible black eye at work that she got at work. What's amazing, so. to, not amazing. It's interesting. It's good, but it's interesting I, to I me. I think it's great that people check on other people first. Oh, no, I don't like that part no. at all. <laughs> You're it's, so nosy. <laughs> um, so I've had to go to the emergency room mm-hmm. a few times in the last few years. And they and ask you. If it's, you feel safe. No, no, they will ask you, well, one, if you feel safe, but they'll ask you if anybody is emotionally or mentally abusing you, if right. you need, yeah, and I was like, I just broke my ribs mountain biking, man, I don't know what you think happened. Right. I'm currently in mountain biking gear yeah. and my ribs are broken, yeah. <laughs> can we attend to that? <laughs> and I'm in, a, I'm in, for the pain I'm in, I'm in a decent mood. Right. So, no, you know, do you, have you been abused, right. you know? I think it's great that they starved? do that, it's amazing that they do that, but it's so weird that they do, like, I remember the first time they asked me that, I was like, what? Like I was taken aback by the question and I thought that was like, at first I thought it was just a question they asked me, but then I realized it's on the questionnaire, like it's on the printout. And I was oh, like, I oh. Didn't, oh no, for me it was always verbal. I never got Oh no, mine's on the, um, I think it's because I have like women, and this is in quotes, women <laughs> doctors that go to like the gynecologist oh, and stuff. Oh, no, this, on it, the women gynecologist forms, like when you fill out the stuff when you get there, it asks it on the form when you check in. Oh, well that's good. No, yeah. this was just in the emergency room. When oh, I go to okay. my regular doctors, they don't. I don't they remember don't care. that when I went to the emergency room, but yeah, yeah, uh, anyway. yeah. So, so face mash that happened this week. It's looking a lot better, and they can cover it really well with makeup. So, like, it doesn't really look like anything right now. And when I have my glasses on, you can't see it at all. So, yeah, that in fact that night it looked. You could tell you, and I iced it and right. all of that. So, yeah, but it hurt like a son of a bitch. It looked like it did. <laughs> And I was so upset. I, I we have our own like little fire and safety um, emergency um, paramedic department at work. Mm-hmm. 
that services the whole like little valley over Ooh, there. Oh yeah, they service. Nice. They do a lot of service. And I thought maybe I should stop there, but I just wanted to go home because at that point I was like, oh, I'm just going to go home. But I kind of feel like maybe in hindsight I should have stopped just so they could have looked at it, you know? Well, they would have They would have sent you to get stitches. You think so? It was big enough that they would. It, at the time it looked huge. Yeah. Well, and, and if you would have. It was swelling. <laughs> good possibility if you would have got stitches or got it taped or glued, you wouldn't probably have a scar. I think now you're going to have a tiny yeah, little line. Yeah, a little scar. Right. But discoloration. I, th- I think in hindsight, like from now on, if something else happens like that, I think I will go there. Like it, it was just enough of a situation that, like, I probably should have gone. You should just start going there for the every <laughs> go everything. You're like, I stubbed my toe today. And they're like, okay. like, what do you think about this hangnail? Yeah, I have a splinter. Can you help me with that? Yeah, no. but anyway, um, I have some some. Uh, I wanted to so go? I wanted to tell you a story from work. Okay, there's this uh, person I met at work. I will call is her. Is it a worker or is it a no, regular a, person? A, just a regular person. I will call her a friend. Um, like you've seen her more than a few times. Yes, and and t- have talked to her. Mm-hmm. Uh, a, I would say quite a bit. She um, how, she is how to describe her. She is a hippie. Mm-hmm. Um, I would probably say late forties to mid fifties. Mm-hmm. Um, really nice and has had a uh, brain trauma also. This mm-hmm. is how we started even talking. Um, so she, uh, she, <laughs> she dresses very hippie Yeah. And in Flowy like skirts? super bright colors. Mm hmm. So there'll be like Do you have crazy hair? No, actually. Oh, but her hair is oftentimes in my head, she has crazy hair. Her hair is oftentimes like in a knit cap that she got from Goodwill. Mm-hmm. Most of her clothes is from Goodwill. She likes that. Mm-hmm. And and sometimes there's you know, she'll have like sixteen different color pink shades of pink on. <laughs> she's very cool. I, I I like her a lot. She's really nice. She she's She's very much about the world. Like mm-hmm. she goes swimming in the ocean in San Francisco in the mornings. Oh, that's chilly. In a bathing suit, not in not a, a wetsuit. Wet suit. Oh, most people go in wetsuit. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Surfers, you'd, anyway. You'd think. Hmm. Yeah. It's chilly. So <laughs> she does a lot of things like makes her own candles. And she's a, she's a, uh, not a massage therapist. She's a, like an, uh, an aura. Um, Balancer? Something like that. Mm. Yes. I've heard of that. Which is is it's, cool, It's right? a thing, yeah. So anyway, so she went to a, a soap, she wanted to learn how to make her own, so she went to a soap making class and the person who was teaching the class uh, was also a, a hippie. I have made my own sugar scrub. Yeah, it hap- it, hey, it, we do what we do. Yeah, delicious. A- and um, she, so she went to this class and she said that she was calling the teacher a hippie. So I'm thinking how hippie she must have <laughs> oh, been no. this teacher. And she said, that is funny. and you know, and you know how in the stereotype people like to describe that they, they have a very emotional attachment to the things they're doing. You mm-hmm. know, there's like, and, and the nature and the soap and, and it's natural and it's of the earth and it's from the earth and we are the earth and love your mother and all that. Right. Mm-hmm. So she says she had like, she, she made a connection with the, the hippie soap instructor. Mm -hmm. And she said, and and it was something very special because she gave me her pea soap. And I was like... I'm sorry, what? Yeah. I was like, oh, oh, that's... And I didn't want to like... You're like, what the... Stop the the car. Let's stop this bus. I need to get off. (laughs) So I look and I'm like, that's really, that's really cool. And in my head, I'm like, I need to look up what the hell pea soap is and how it's made. So it's not pea the vegetable. It's your pea soap. It's pea soap. And, and, and she goes, and it... I have so many questions. It was, it was, she goes... It, and assurances. It meant, it meant so much to me because this was soap that she made for herself. And she was giving it to me. And it was her pea soap. And I was like, wow. 
that's really cool. I'm like, I'm I'm ha- really happy for you know because it's right. It's she someone, seems really into it and really touched by yeah, it. So you can all, only be happy for her happiness. I mean, I of course, you know, I say I say friend. Meanwhile, yeah, I say friend. <laughs> but this is someone I see at work. You know, it's not right. like you know, but Acquaintance so I'm like, I just friend. want, I, I just it. want her to feel good. And then she mm-hmm. goes, Yeah, it was great. <laughs> she she goes, It was there, and it was it was in the little, it was in the in a peace symbol. And I said, Oh, you said peace soap and she goes yeah what did you think i said and i said i thought you said pee soap <laughs> she's like no no because i mean she said she gave me her pee soap she didn't say she gave peace. me soap that was in soap. the shape of pee a soap. pee simple yeah <laughs> she gave me her pee soap. that is the title of and this then, episode pee soap <laughs> peace soap and then we'll write that down well oh then my God. and so then she's like well what would pee soap be and i said i don't know i was gonna look it up because it said you were so into it i thought it was like this personal thing of like a way to make soap and and like if someone gives you their piece soap it's like this real important thing you know it's like i don't i don't know what you all do in the back of a freaking volkswagen bus i don't know what goes on back there <laughs> look at me for god's sake you know what's hilarious on this week's episode of couple things podcast yeah, ben talked about talk how louder. much he really 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 wants and has been coveting and his coveting his neighbor's Volkswagen bus. I'm a huge. Well, you know me. I'm a huge fan. Yeah. I mean, I my first car was a Volkswagen. Super I don't want to have to help you push love, it down the street. I love to push how supportive it. you are of the things that I like. <laughs> like, oh, you know, I'm a big fan. I don't want one. Uh, all right. Sorry. All right. Yeah. Let's go back to peace soap. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know how Tony feels with that whole Godfather thing. Oh, you like that? Oh, I don't want I'm any not, part of it. I'm not going to watch that. <laughs> wow i'm happy you're happy though i don't know if you are i am <laughs> uh-huh <laughs> so yeah so i was a little confused that's hilarious so then so i was so then the i became i was the, of a peace sign or it was in the shape of a peace okay. sign peace so i had to i was the embarrassed sign. yeah i was the embarrassed one that had to say that. she goes so you think think they make peace soap I was like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm, I was I'm, just happy for I don't you. Know, man. <laughs> Costco doesn't sell pea or peace soap. So, <laughs> I <don't know>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I use, yeah, I don't, oh I don't know about that. That's hilarious. So I thought you'd get a kick out of me. Because I was so like, that is really cool. You're trying like, so really hard to be cool. Like, yeah, that's great. Oh, yeah. pea soap. Yeah, I mean, if that's, that's what she's into, I don't care. Yeah, I'm, you know, technically it's, it's sterile. sterile. And I mean, you know. It it's there. Kills did you hear jellyfish? Did venom, you hear any of I've our? Heard. Did you hear our? Uh, I don't know. Did you hear the latest reasons or several? Of course, I did. Did we talk about the shower pee or was that the bonus? Nope, I haven't heard that. And the bonus wasn't that. The bonus oh, maybe, was oh, maybe um, it's you next. talking about how you poke I my might, belly button. It might be. I do. I poke your belly button. I know, and I don't like it. That's what I said. But you do it anyway. <laughs> that's what I said. And then you lick my teeth, which I also don't like. I, and you do it anyway. That's what I said. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't like it. I like it. You have like, a lot I of like rules. Your feet. How about if I touch those? You can touch them all you want. The then reason I, I don't let you is because you get kicked. Right? Um, That's what actually happened to my eye. I may. No. I may have been jumping forward on the reasons. There's several. Yeah, I, it's it's not a bonus. We I've talk heard. about pee somewhere. You guys talk about pee often, so maybe. Maybe Matt just wanted me to talk about pee, and it's not and even on the goddamn that episode. For <laughs> anyway, uh, reasons are several. It's uh, it's the other podcast that I'm on with uh, Matador, where they also talk about pee. Where we talk. <laughs> we spend a lot of time. It's very homoerotic. We spend a lot of time talking about sex. We talk Two a dudes lot about sex. of time about talking about sex and also pee. What and I like a lot of basketball this week. I have to say, what I like is he's the sports guy, and I'm the guy who's always talking about sports, and he's the guy who's always talking about sex robots. True. It's weird. He's the one who That's always brings job. up. He's like, hey, Neil, have you heard about this sex robot? Yeah, sex robot. Hey, Neil, do you pee in the shower? Yeah, why? Oh, because here's an article about pee. <laughs> hey, Neil, what do you think of butt plug spinners? I don't know, Matt. I was trying to talk about WWE. I don't understand the butt plug spinner. What? You don't I'm going to need to see a picture because I don't, I don't understand it. So you know like the metal butt plug? The, yeah. Yeah. So imagine at the end of instead of the cute little ruby, I had a fidget spinner on it. I don't. Why? So like a propeller. So you could look like your little just, the submarine it doesn't buzzing around seem, the house. Is the word efficient? Or it's not efficient. The word is um I don't know. It doesn't seem is, like good to have there. I don't know. Well, I think I was talking about it but like if you're 
butt hair gets caught in it. Right. That seems also bad. Yeah. But like if you're bored back there, then you shouldn't be doing it. Like like just, just you know, go with yeah, the but one maybe that has you're the with, cute gemstone. Maybe thing, you're man. with somebody who's not like a big fan of doing that with you or for you, but they really like fidget spinners. Hmm. Like I was thinking of getting one that had like a Game Boy with that Animal Crossing attached to it. Because then I love I'm thinking, Animal Crossing. right? So then you'd be back there going like, "Oh, you're enjoying. I'm enjoying." <laughs> I don't need that though. That's we're fine. all enjoying. I can keep those things separate. Um, so <laughs> I'd anyway, like to keep those things separate. I'm gonna make you some pea soap. No, I don't. Minus I don't. the soap. I don't. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. I know it's sterile. I still don't want it. Um, Thank you, though. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Yes. I think all those things. Um, do you want, are you looking at my list? I am. Oh. Well, we were going to talk about NASCAR and Dr. X because I'm so far behind in NASCAR. I don't know what's happening. I didn't know we were going to talk about NASCAR. I, it's on my list you talk from about, last week why don't you talk to talk about, about this week. Maybe. You said you wanted to talk about NASCAR. And oh, Dr. X. I don't and know. And no vacation talk. I wrote those three things down. Well, talk about, you talk about Dr. X. Well, we mentioned it briefly before that we were watching TV one evening. TV. In bed. TV. TV. That's how I pronounce it. Um, in Jamaica. And they get all kinds of crazy channels. And on this one channel. <laughs> crazy channel. Um, they, it's a, it's a, what's funny about it is it's not actually just a Japanese channel. It's also, I think in, they have Indian shows on there, but also Japanese. Was shows. it on ZTV? No, no, no it wasn't. Um, it was on CMTV. They, they, they do. It was on of, the Caribbean Channel. Yeah, and they do a lot of Bollywood stuff as well. That's ZTV, right? Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but um, so one evening we were in a room and Neil turned on the TV, and then all of a sudden the show came TV. on TV, and. Basically, we were started watching this girl like sassy pants, sassy pants, and of course you have to read it because it's um, subtitled. But um, and the translation is a little off. I think this is so I'm funny because like, you haven't said anything about you said so far. There was this girl mm-hmm. sassy pants with translation. Okay, so basically, it's a show that's called Doctor X, which it took us like halfway through the show to get that name, and it's Doctor X, surgeon for hire. Uh, I don't remember that part. Um, but there's, there's like a subtitle. Oh, the Japanese subtitle translates to sub-surgeon, like um, substitute surgeon. That's what it's called. Dr. X, substitute surgeon. <laughs> it's really weird. But um, so it's basically this TV show about this girl who's a surgeon, but also maybe a dancer. She is a dancer. <laughs> who is a substitute surgeon for hire. So like... <laughs> You're close. It's so close, right? Yes. How, close. how would you describe it? So the show is about a young female surgeon who works Who's for also a, a dancer. Who works <laughs> for a um uh questionable Temp. questionable temporary surgeon placement agency. Right, because that, that's Japan. that's the translation. And right. she is also a dancer, like right. a Kind of a, if you think of a modern go-go dancer, not a cage dancer, not a stripper. She's a dancer in clubs. Which is hilarious because they showed her dancing once and she was just out there dancing by herself, like not doing anything super weird or anything. Well, a lot of, a lot of big clubs hire people to just go dance. dance. So <laughs> it looks like people are always on the dance floor. Needless to say, she's like a smart, alecky, sassy. Mm-hmm. She wears thigh-high boots and a black mini dress underneath her surgeon's coat. Mm-hmm. And she talks back to everybody and it's all with subtitles and it's insane. And she never fails. And she never fails. And it, it's <laughs> that's her sub- crazy. That's her tagline. Uh, so it, go check it out. Dr. X. And you can stream it online. Yeah. But um, so we were fascinated. We were, we gonna, were hooked. It was a night yeah. we wanted to go to bed early. And then we ended up watching the whole episode and we were like, oh my God, what's mm. tonight? Are we going to see like next week or whatever? But yeah. And we did. And now Neil has found it, and now we've uh, watched, I think we're in episode four, four or five? I think we we're, we but, need to watch episode um, four. There's five seasons. Five seasons. <sighs> and five she seasons is, of Dancer Surgeon. It's amazing. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's great. Like, it's, it's, think of an anime so, version of Trapper John MD. Soap opera-y. But, like, not in a bad way. Like, there's no, like, sex or romance. I, Yet. And I actually kind of like that. I like the fact that it's just her surprised. being, like, super surgeon. Mm-hmm. So. Not surprised. Very funny. No romance right up on Elisa's alley. <laughs> Lots of action. Can we get away without sex when this? Oh, awesome. 
Hey, come mm-hmm. on now. Get the Animal Crossing butt plug out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun, so check it out. Yeah, it's actually and really we are, cool. And I thought maybe we enjoyed it a lot because we were on vacation. Mm-hmm. But then when we saw it here, I'm like, no, this is awesome. Right. Dr. Uh, X. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I enjoy it. it I have like, another fun. St- oh, go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. I, no, I was going to say we should talk about the airport trip and mm. your cousin Patricia and mm. your mom's birthday. Mm. No, none of that. Next week. All right. I we guess. got other stuff. My mom's 70th birthday party is tomorrow, so I figured we'd talk about it next week. Okay. Yeah, because it'd be more, as opposed to, uh, and then, you know, mm-hmm. that way it's all fresh and new. Fresh and And there'll be video. Mm. Oh, okay. I'm expecting you. I can't read that from you anyway, so. But what do you want to know? What are you going to say? What do you want to see what time we're at. But. 35. Thank you. Go ahead. So I was driving home, Mm-mm. and I was on the road uh, that's next to a vineyard, mm-hmm. and it's the road that has, there's like rose bushes that run parallel to the vineyard, and then the vineyard runs perpendicular. Mm-hmm. Right. And I'm driving. I know. I'm driving like, do do do, and I look over, and there's this tiny donkey running mm-hmm. alongside of the car, but in the vineyard, like between the roses and the vineyard, on the vineyard side. Was there a fence there? Yeah, because there's the fence, then there's, there's the roses, right. then there's then the, the vineyard. vineyard. Okay, got it. And so this, this tiny donkey running like freaking crazy. Is it a baby donkey or is it a mini donkey? It was a small donkey. Huh. And so I look back and I look back over and I realize it's the world's biggest freaking jackrabbit. It was so big, I could see it through the roses while I'm driving. And it was moving so fast that I look back at the road and I'm like, there's no way that was a rabbit. I look back and the rabbit is almost keeping up with the car. I wasn't, I mean, I was going like wow. 40 or 45 because there was traffic. It was freaking gigantic. Wow. Gi freaking gigantic. Gigantic jackrabbit. It was huge. Wow. I th- and then I'm like, maybe it's <laughs> a dog. Like, it. like, that's a weird looking donkey. Huh. Yeah, because I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, that, that's a really small donkey, but it's hauling ass. And then, no, it was a freaking rabbit. Wow. Yeah. I'm like, is someone dressed in my Frank the Bunny outfit freaking running alongside the car? That's so weird. Huge. It freaked me out. I wonder where he was going and what happened to him. I have no, but I was worried. I'm like, don't jump over the fence and run in front of a car because it's, it's deer size. I'm like, right. you're going to freaking. Baby no. deer. It was insane. Wow. Weird. Ba- way bigger than our dogs. No. No. The thing, I saw it through the rose bushes. <laughs> How can you see a little rabbit through you the rose bushes? You can see zero through the rose bushes. Not there. What about Chubbs? You can probably see Chubbs. No, in those not no, even you close. Don't th- you don't think so? Not even close. Hmm. No, when we go by tomorrow, I'll show you. Please. It was freaking huge. <laughs> I would like to see that. Anyway. Yeah, show me where so it I can freaked take, me out. get my eyes out open. Yeah. It, my eyes out open? Does that make then sense? Then I thought, like, like I said, then open I thought maybe it was somebody's out. dog, but no. Weird. It was huge. <laughs> freaked me out. Well, good for him for uh, living for so long. I you thought know, maybe he's like the evil, like, uh, kill everything in sight. He was just trying to get back home. He's like the, the Darth piece. Vader. <laughs> he's he's the Darth Rabbit. Yeah. During commute time, he was just trying to get back home. Um, you know, at my job at work, I you know, work out in the woods or the hills. What is that? Where do I work? Is it it's not wilderness? No, you the work woods? in the valley. Yeah. The, yeah, I don't in know what to call it. An unincorporated area hills, of Marin County. Um and there are a hills lot of and the trees. acres acreage out there is um undeveloped mm-hmm. and not farmed. And there are unincorporated. Yes, there are a lot of little rabbits out there. Not jackrabbits, but like little baby fluffy bubby bunnies. Oh, bubby! And this morning I saw a little bunny, and I'm like, "Hi, little bun bun!" And he ran into the bushes. Whenever I come out, they run into the bushes. But they're tiny, and they look like I would say the average size is like the size of my hand, from you know um, wrist to tip of my fingers. And um, so you're saying like base to tip? Yeah. So what is this? Your like, shaft. This is like what four or five inches. Your palm. Four inches. Yeah. No, the uh, whole thing. I'd say anyway, five. so they're little bun buns, and they're so adorable. But it makes me wonder: like, are those actually like traditionally wild rabbits, or did like someone leave a couple of domesticated rabbits out there, or now they, they have like, a, like twenty domesticated rabbits? Because they're not jack rabbits by any means. They're little bun buns. They're little normal looking pet rabbit ish. People. Well, in the in People. Golden Gate Park yeah. for a long Animals. time, there were little regular looking bunnies, and they were wild. Yeah, I don't know, but we have a ton of them, and we not a ton because I only see like a few every year, every morning, and there's always a couple out, and they're like nibbling like little grass. So like so you don't little... have two thousand pounds worth of them. No, no, no. But 
They're adorable. And every morning I kind of try to walk like quietly over to the gym. So Why don't you set a little rabbit trap? Little bun buns. No. No, because they're not free. To hurt them. No, no, like the, the wood with the stick and you can sit there and pull the stick. Oh. <laughs> they would never do that. What do you mean? That's how you catch them. <laughs> I think them. if I just sat there for a really long time, they'd come back out. We have that. Jim would love that. And quail. Yeah. <laughs> I'm busy today, so you got this? Cool. <laughs> Where's Annalise? She's out sitting with the rabbits again. Yeah. She's looking for rabbits. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> then that giant jackrabbit's going to come and So there's wild you. turkeys, quail, Couldn't keep and little away. bun buns out there. And um, there used to be foxes, but I haven't seen the foxes in a long time. Oh, what does the fox say? No. <laughs> <laughs> again with your no. <laughs> Jesus. Man. Anyway. That's too funny. One day you'll say yes to something. I say yes to a lot of things. Uh, mm. 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 Pizza. Of, say yes to a lot of vacation. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Apparently say, I'm you, in. you say yes to the door of your car. Well, I, I didn't want to drop An my An intimate my relationship. <laughs> All right. Um, what else do I have? I don't know. I think that's it. Okay. No, I've got a ton of stuff. Oh, we'll go then. But we don't have to keep going. You don't have anything that you can talk about? Where? where I was going to get up and... Oh. Gil, Beverage. I don't have anything else, actually. All right. Do you want to talk about the amount of computers we have? No. (laughs) I I have something you can talk about that kind of happened today. Mm. Why don't you tell the story when we're walking the dogs, and then a tiny little black dog came out to say hello to you and your reaction to it. I screamed. Yeah. Can you you tell more of the story? Yeah, I guess so. I'm I'm almost out of beverage, too. That's right. (laughs) Um, So we were walking the dogs this weekend, and... There's this one little back dog, and her name is Penny. I guess she's a chihuahua. Is she a chihuahua? I don't know. Um, She's tiny, though. And this has happened before um, while the two of us are walking the dogs, and it's happened before to just Neil as well. But um, there's a house on the corner that we walk by, and sometimes Penny is her name because the guy's yelling it all the time, gets free, and sometimes she's out there just wandering around, and she always comes charging Towards our dogs who are on she's, the leash. She's obviously. protecting her area. Right. Like because all dogs we're walking do. by her house. Yeah. yeah. She's not she's not trying to attack. But she just runs around us and, and barks. barks. Like, get away. This yeah. isn't your area. Yeah. And um So this little eight pound dog is barking yes, at a but the thing is that particular morning when that happened, <laughs> it was so is funny. I didn't actually see her. I just out of the corner of my eye saw this black thing coming. <laughs> towards me. See, Zero is telling the story, too. And Not I, only did you not see her, you didn't hear her because she did, was barking for a while running up. That's why I no, wasn't... No, I didn't. No. I, I don't know what was going on, but, like, I I don't know if I was just... Dist- oh, I, I can tell what was going on. You were having 17,000 conversations in your head right. and you were probably distracted by God knows what up ahead in the distance. I was walking the dog. I was looking down at the ground and I'm always very aware in that area because there's a lot of... Um, stuff in the bushes and stuff on the ground stuff. and there's a lot of cat poop in that area too so i'm just trying to be aware and i'm usually looking at nine and just looking around you know but literally i did not see her and so at the corner of my eye i just kind of see this black thing coming towards me and so i let out not just a little but a fairly loud yelp you screamed and then you like, said oh shit <laughs> i was like whoa Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, no, it was more. It was more of a. It wasn't a woo. It was more of a like a scared scream. Yeah, it scared the shit out of me because Which, I just saw this black thing coming at me from the side. Look how excited you're getting. I know. Sorry, sorry, people. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's great. <laughs> Turn down your radio. <laughs> But it, it scared the shit out of me. And then I started giggling because you have that like nervous like yeah the adrenaline thing. rush. Right. And then um, well, you scared the bejesus out of nine I, too. Yeah, I scared her because. And then I, I kept telling Nine it was okay or whatever. And then Penny kept just running around. And then, of course, the guy from the house comes out yelling at Penny like he always does. Yeah. And what I thought was also funny is that you yelled. And so you and Nine are jumping and like totally freaked out. And like, <laughs> I remember both Zero and I looked back at the same time, like, yeah, it's yeah, the no. Dog. And I knew, I mean, like, I'm used to Penny now at this point, kind of. So I, I like knew what to do. But like, just for that, like, 30 seconds, I was like, what the shit? <laughs> What I Holy think crap. is funny is the guy who owns Penny, like, thinks he's so cool and so hardcore. Penny, get and, over here. And Penny, then it's stop. like, Penny. I'm like, Dude. And Penny is just running around like crazy, not listening to him. I know, and I'm thinking one, one of these days, Penny's going to take a swipe at one of the dogs, and the dogs are going to go, no, I've had Penny, enough. Penny's 
going to take a big gold chomp Penny, to the face. Penny's going to be in. But the other, that hurt. one time, too, Penny ran out into the street. So she's either going to get hit by a car or one yeah. of our well, dogs is going to bite her. Well, neighborhood it. doesn't. <laughs> so. There's a couple of people that fly around here. But fortunately, we don't have a lot right. of traffic. So, But she did run into the street to... You know that one time, Mattis. Anyway, so yeah. so I just thought it was funny because you freaked out. And what I what I find, but I did I like I said, I didn't see that it was a dog at first. I just saw this thing fly at me out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, "What the?" What I what I thought was a little amusing is that when when we met and we were talking, you always said how like when stressful situations come up, I'm totally under control <laughs> and I handle this stuff, and nothing really startles me or freaks me out. I'm like, yeah. And then our experience has been a little bit different in real life so then this time with the dog running out and you just totally lost your shit i'm like oh yeah captain freaking calm over there <laughs> zero and i are like hey well, what's up and yeah, then what was funny was that you different. were freaked out for the rest of the walk you were talking to yourself and mumbling it was hilarious when we got all the way by the the corner house mm-hmm. remember when i turned around i said are you okay and you're like yeah i'm so a little freaked out that whole way well because it just got my heart racing oh no no i know the i'm same like thing. so worried about like our dogs right that because our dogs are going to get blamed for it exactly and so i just don't want anything to happen because i don't want there to be any situation with zero right but this this, which is funny because he's not i don't think he's the one you have to worry about no i know but i'm just saying like if something bad does happen because of that dog yeah then Needless it to would say, be a whole thing. And for those that don't know, nine and zero are the names of our dogs. But right. uh, but it was funny. And I do the same thing. Like when something totally amps you up and then you're kind of in your head. And, right. And I'm way more worried it. about us and our dogs than anything else. Okay. All right. <laughs> Can we move on from that now? Yeah. I think we've made that perfectly clear. Yes. Is that like, you know, you play through the whole thing in your head and all that. But you were talking to yourself for that, the walk Mm-hmm. Down the next block, up the next block, and around, and I'm like, "Are you all right?" You're like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm just still, I'm I don't just think still." It was that bad? You were talking to yourself out <laughs> loud. You're like, "Huh?" Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was uh-huh. mad. I was upset. So it was cute. I thought it was funny. <laughs> oh was shit! Like, <laughs> God damn it, Penny! God yeah. damn it! <laughs> what was sorry. that other dog's name? Um, t- sorry with the T. Uh, oh, oh the one, the one, the Toby. L- Toby. <sighs> Dirty Toby. And then what was the other dog's name with the little girl? Was that Toby again? The little girl. Remember the day we were walking and she was crying? The dog ran from way down and started barking at zero. It was the little brown weenie dog by right by Penny's house. Remember the little girl was running after it and she was freaking out? I don't remember that dog's name. But that wasn't Toby. That wasn't Toby. Right. right. Toby was the one with the two little boys. Our who, dogs. Yeah, no, who, I didn't and the know. The two little boys were like asking to touch zero. Our dogs Our dogs seem to get attacked. By yeah. All the neighborhood dogs. And they're all little yappy dogs that yeah. come charging our dogs. And we're like, one no, day no, no, it'll just no, be a no. snack. Yeah. Snack yap. All right, let's do our favorite five. <laughs> okay. We're running over. Um. So this week's favorite five is another really um, awesome suggestion from our friend Super Ninja. Super Ninja. And it coincides with our weekend's um, extravaganza festivities plans. Yes. For the 4th of July, a lot of people go out and have barbecues and do all this. For mm-hmm. us, we celebrate my mother's birthday because her birthday is on the 4th of July. So it kind of all ties into this type of weekend. Mm-hmm. And we thought it would be fun. And also, we love to talk about food. So this week, it's our favorite five dips. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And what's really funny at first is I thought, are there even five dips? Really? And then once I started thinking about it, I'm like, oh, yeah, there's a ton of dips. So there we go. Nice. So it, You want to go first or last? Um, I will go first because I have something to say. And what we have to say is that our goddamn computer shut down while we were recording. Mm-hmm. So we had to go ahead and find the file and start over Ooh. again. Hi. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Back and one of the things we didn't talk about is we bought a, we bought a new computer for right. it. But we haven't said it because this so keeps happening. So this will, yeah, hopefully, not, be the last time. Not happen, hopefully, yes. anymore. Do you want to do the weather, or do you no. want to do it after? The weather's sunny. It's warm. It's Napa. It's summer. Uh, it was like eighty-five degrees today. It's yeah. beautiful. So there you, there's your Napa Valley weather. <laughs> Send us your simplified weather. All right. So you're gonna go. Congratulations. Sense. Yes. Okay. So you're gonna go. I am. So what I wanted to start with was that um, I have a number five, mm-hmm. um, but I would like to say. I don't remember the name of number five. I got something to say. <laughs> there you go. There again. <laughs> so, um, so basically, I love all the dips from Trader Joe's, and this my number five, including is, the spicy hummus. No, um, hmm. 
Well, I, I, I could try no. it. I could try it. Another um, motherfucking no. I'd be willing to try anything from Trader Joe's, really. But um, so this is a dip from Trader that Joe's. That was your week, but motherfucker. It was a big no, bitch. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I don't remember the name, so don't. I was going to ask you if you do. Okay. And it's a... Playa del Carmen. No. Um, it's number... My number five is a cheese dip from Trader Joe's. And it's literally like shredded cheese. And is it like shredded cheese and pimentos? Do you know... Oh, you know where I think I first had it? Is um, Corey used to bring it to every... He made it. ...occasion. No. No, no, no. So there was one that he made... But there was a Trader Joe's version, and if he didn't have time to make it, he would bring his own. I've never been to an occasion where he didn't make it. Okay. Sorry. So yeah. it's basically a cheese pimento dip, but it's cold and Pimienta? in like a tub that you buy at Trader Joe's. And it's really, really tasty. And I will, I tried today to find the name of it, but I could not. So I will tr- try again to find it. And if I can, so we'll call I it the will... TJCPD. <laughs> Tea, the Trader Joe's cheese dip. Cheese is, uh, pimento dip. Yeah. TJCPD. There you go. So that's my number five. God damn it. I could just eat that whole thing with like a handful of crackers and a spoon. My number five <laughs> is a seven layer bean dip. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you eat that. No, because it's not good for you. But mm. I like it. Mm. Seven layer. It's like a seven layer bolito. Bolito. It's a seven layer wow. bolito that somebody opened up and let Trader you Joe's eat. also sells one of those. So. Trader Joe's can suck my left nut. No, they're awesome. They, they no, have- but they can still. Awesome people suck nuts. What are you talking about? Oh, God. Why okay. is people who suck nuts bad? Oh, my God. What's your number four? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, my number four is guacamole. High five. That's my number four. Is it? Yep. That's what I was trying to. I was like, how do you spell guacamole? Nothing like an avocado that's had it, the crap beat out of it. Yeah, I love it. Um, I also like the poor man's guacamole, which is basically whoa, just. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. We don't class shame here. No, no, no. So let, let me just say I also like the less ingredients version of guacamole, which is basically an avocado, garlic powder, and salt. I like a it spicy guac on my cock. No, say what? Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, there's that. Guacamole. So now it's your number three. <laughs> well, we both had the number four. We are just flying four. through this thing. <laughs> No, I'm, but what do you want me to say? Well, my number four is also guacamole because I like smashed you like avocados. All of the bits that I normally like go in, lot. like tomato, because I could do without tomato. To be honest, um, with you. Depends, I'll put up with depends it. Who makes it? Because it's traditionally in there. My mom's guac really can have tomatoes. Want it in there? I don't really want the tomato. In I there. like my guacamole to be smashed mm-hmm. and edible. <laughs> well, there you go. All right. Excuse me. Um, so my number three mm-hmm. is onion dip. I'm not a huge fan. Hmm. I like it. I like it for vegetables and chips. But I eat it. However, I did once make, what kind of sandwich I used, but I used, there was extra onion dip and I mm-hmm. used that like as mayonnaise on mm-hmm. it. It was amazing. I forget what it, but it was like a simple sandwich, it was like bologna or something right. weird. They mm-hmm. wouldn't found, sound, found, wow. sound like it worked. Amazing. Mm. I could see that for sure. Yeah. I've had uh, cream cheese just on like just cream cheese on a baguette before. It's something they sold at a cafe I went to, and I was like, it was the right price. I had like four dollars to get a coffee and a breakfast thing, and it was again the right price. I could get those two things for four dollars, and I was like, oh, I guess I'll try the baguette with cream cheese on it, and it was delicious. I think I used <laughs> to tell you about my post mountain bike ride meal, like when I went on big I rides. I don't know. Was a fresh baguette and fish food ice cream. I don't think I knew that. No, the goddamn GoPro quit. Son of a mother. I thought it held, I thought it held more than an hour of. It recording. probably it might be messed up again. I don't know. No, but it's a brand new one. It no, can't be messed up. That's the old one. Oh well, then yeah, it only holds an hour. Um, and shit balls. We've yeah, been an hour. So. Oh, son of a. Anyway, I also broke a nail in the bathroom. God damn it. Yeah, so, so uh, what is it? Ben and Jerry's fish food ice cream. So it's all, it almost tasted like a chocolate croissant because the, the French bread was so fresh. Oh, so good. That's like carb loading Pint. at its finest. <laughs> and sugar loading. But, I mean, we're talking, I mean, I was burning most decadent. <laughs> six, 7,000 calories at a ride. So it was, Do it, baby. We're not going to have this for very much longer. So, um, so Everything's dying. What's number three? My number three? Is that melted brie dip I make in the bowl? Oh, yeah. With the nice. melted brie, butter, mm-hmm. and garlic. I like both versions because you do like a savory version and a sweet version. Yeah. 
I prefer the sweet version. I do not. Which is funny because I'm normally a salt girl, but you, like I will take a bag of chips over like ice cream any day. Okay. Yeah. Oh, don't have to get so angry. <laughs> All right. What's your number two? Yeah. Okay. We're, wow, we're already there. Ranch. Oh, uh, ranch dip? Ranch dip. I will eat it on anything, anytime. But will you dip anything in it? Yeah. French fries. Absolutely. Potato chips. Yep. Corn chips. Yep. A burrito. Sure. Pizza. Yeah. Lasagna. I'd give it a try. Probably be pretty good. <laughs> it sounds delicious. I'd eat it. <laughs> turkey. Why of course, not? Yeah. Right? Open face turkey with the ranch dip. Hells yeah. Hells to the yeah. <laughs> Put ranch on it. My nuts. Oh, maybe I will buy. I will buy a <laughs> lifetime supply of ranch dip. <laughs> we um, can use it as lube if you'd like. I don't know if that's. Although after it gets seems warm, like an infection waiting to happen. Yeah. What's your number two? What isn't? Mm, true. My number two is your artichoke dip. Oh, nice! Thank you. That's actually my number one. Your own artichoke dip? Yeah. My dip. One. None of my dips made it on your list. Hannah was right. <laughs> Wow. What did Hannah say? Remember he said how like we do our favorite five and mm-hmm. mine is always like nice and kind. There's always something about you on it. And then you do yours <laughs> and it's like, nope. Um, <laughs> what is it you like best about I life? Just, Everything my, but him. My um, brie cheese is not my favorite cheese. No, I understand. I've made you many a dip. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. So, <laughs> my number two is artichoke. What's your what's your and that's your number one. That's, my artichoke dip is my number one. That's my awesome. artichoke dip, not sorba. My dip. number one mm-hmm. is ketchup. Is that a dip? I dip that's things a in condiment. it. Condiment, but I dip things in it. I thought your number one would be hummus. No. Hmm. No. Okay. A ketchup, because I will use ketchup on everything if I could. It's squeaky toy time. Could I dip my chips in ketchup? Yeah. Corn chips in ketchup? Yeah. Turkey in ketchup? Sure. Lasagna? Of course. Wow. Carrots? You know it. And I've I don't, never I don't eat, seen you eat ketchup and carrots. I don't eat I don't eat ketchup. Hmm. Because it has sugar. Yeah. But you used to. Yes. And I never thought then. Oh my hmm. god. I don't know. Yeah. Ketchup. Well, it's I, interesting. My mom, my mother, made it a negative stigma. To use ketchup because she thought it was low class. Oh. So I wouldn't use it. But I, oh. if I could, because it's just, because it's sweet and I love sweets. Right. So it's like if I could, like, you could feed me liver. I think that you also like tangy. So it's like a tangy sweet thing. Oh, so I, I guess see that. why you like it. Yeah. But anyway, that was my number one. Nice. I think it would change my number one maybe to melted cheese though. I didn't put that. <laughs> that didn't make it. Is that a tip? Just melted like cheese. Fondue. Like queso. Yeah. Isn't fondue exactly a dip? I guess it is. Never mind. That's my number one. Fondue. Redo. Fondant. <laughs> we have to go out for fondue one of these days. I have never actually had fondue. Like, I think that I've been to someone's like party so or you've, something. You fond didn't. I have fondant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That doesn't I don't actually good. like fondant, just so you know. It's like this weird, like, plaster icing that they use so I, they no, can decorate cakes yeah, but it doesn't it really taste good okay anyway so Hi. you want a fondue I, I i would like to fondue all right uh thank you everybody for listening you can check us out everywhere instagram youtube pinterest periscope uh we don't periscope a lot facebook will, dapf pod we'll get in there sometime. email us dark angels and pretty freaks.com or dapf pod.com yeah mm-hmm. and uh <laughs> Yeah. Thanks for listening. Good night. Good night and goodbye. <laughs>